God bless you. Greetings to each and every one of you wonderful people. We greet you on today. Let me just start with the scripture and I'm going to give a <clears throat> go to <clears throat> Matthew chapter number 10. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 10 beginning with uh, verse 5. Matthew 10 verse 5. Listen to the words of Jesus the instructions he gave to his disciples. In Matthew chapter number 10, verse number 5, 10 verse number 5, these 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them saying, Go not the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Once again, Jesus said, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. <clears throat> go to the lost sheep of Israel. <clears throat> My thought today. At that time, Jesus told his disciples, don't go to the Gentile, but go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. Lost sheep of Israel. The lost sheep of Israel. Now, Jesus sent them to the lost sheep of Israel. Why were they lost? Who were they? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Although they were lost, <coughs> but Jesus sent his disciples to them so they'll be saved, so they won't remain lost. Jesus sent his disciples to the lost sheep of Israel. And Jesus sent me he sent me, Jesus sent me, Jesus sent me to the lost sheep of the Gentiles. To the lost, yes, we preach the gospel to every creature. But Jesus sent me to the lost sheep of the Gentiles. Well, what's that? Christian. You say you're a Christian. Uh, Jesus sent me to the lost sheep of the Gentile, which is in your church. <clears throat> mm hmm. The lost sheep in the church of God in Christ and Baptist and Medlin and whatever you call yourself. If you say you're a Christian and say you're God fearing, Jesus sent me to you. You, you, uh, God. <clears throat> That's what we're going to talk about. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> let me give this testimony. As most of you all know, I was sick as a, 
and afflicted all week long, last week, all week. I was on medication constantly. Medication that would knock me out constantly. All last week. Friday, I went cold turkey. And didn't take no more with no more no more of that medication. Friday. By me being on medication all week, my body had got immune. My, my, where my body had had got used to being knocked out. Drew. So when I quit cold turkey. Of course, my body went in shock. I couldn't go to sleep. Yeah, I shut my eyes, but I couldn't go to sleep. You know, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, which was last night. Well, last night, well, <laughs> I'm going to go to Jesus and go to my father and talk to my father and ask my father by his son, Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, ask my father to heal me, touch me, touch me, touch my body. Hallelujah. So I prayed to God and told him to touch my body, put me to sleep, let me go to sleep. This is miserable. Yes, I would tempted to go get some more knockout drugs. No. I say, Father, touch me. You know you can go to God and pray. And long about, I'm guessing now, Long about five o'clock this morning, he answered my prayer. I went to sleep. I mean sleep. So he answered my prayer. <laughs> the father answered my prayer and I went to sleep. You know that I feel pretty good. Coming to you a little late today, I, I went, went to sleep and got up and took my shower and all that kind of stuff and ate my breakfast and cooked my breakfast. And, but I still had sleep in my eye. So I sit up in this chair. And went to sleep some more. So now I'm refreshed. And Jesus answered my prayer. All right. Let's get to the lesson. <clears throat> As we read, Jesus told his disciples, go to the lost house of Israel. Who was the lost house of Israel? Who was Israel? Israel was God's people. That was in bondage for 400 years. And God delivered it. Threw him by the Red Sea. 
Although they were God people, that God showed them love. There's a message right here for somebody. And God showed them love and kindness. They didn't show it back. They served other gods. They rejected God. God sent prophets to tell them, return to God. Put away your idols. They didn't do it. The lost sheep of Israel. Go to Ezekiel chapter 36. A lot of people don't know this. Israel <coughs> was just like y'all in y'all church. That's a message right there. Go to Ezekiel chapter. Thirty-six. The lost sheep of Israel. God loved them so much and delivered them. And they gonna fly with God face. Ezekiel thirty-six. Uh, verse. 16. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, said, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, the problem land, they defile it, ye God folk, they defile it by their own way and their doings. Their way were before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. Wherefore I poured out my fear upon them. I punished them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for, and for their idol which they had polluted it. I punished them. I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings. I judged them. No sad thing when, when God can't tell you nothing. And when they enter unto the heathen, whither they went, they profane my holy name. I'm a Christian. We Abraham see. We must we follow Moses. I'm God fearing. I'm called by God's name. Yet you acting like you called by Satan's name. They profane my holy name, Israel. Where they said unto them, These are the people of the Lord and are gone forth out of his land. These are the Lord people. And you acted a fool. And you disobeyed. But I had pity for my holy name. I had pity. Which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whether they went. Y'all profaning God's name today. It ever took. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, yeah. Thus said the Lord God, I do not this for your sake. I'm not doing it for your sake. You show a word. O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, you ain't going to mess up my reputation. 
which he have afraid of all the heathen you with. I was sanctified by great name, which was profane among the heathen, which ye have profane in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, said the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. I will take you from among the heathen. When I deliver you, you will bring you back to your own land. Back over here, Matthew. But go, 10, verse 6, but go round to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. They were lost. They didn't listen to the prophets. They were lost. They were lost. God sent them to the lost sheep of Israel. <clears throat> Jesus raised me up and anointed me and sent me to the lost sheep of the Gentile, of the church world, of Christianity, of Christian, of Pentecostal, of Church of God in Christ, Baptist, Methodist, non denomination Christian. He sent me to you just like he sent the Gentile to the lost sheep of Israel. He sent me to the lost sheep in our churches and in your churches. He sent me to you, God knows. What did he tell me to tell you? And there you go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven that had, the kingdom of heaven that had, He'll see clearly, never rage, dead, can thou devil, freely you have received, freely give. Do all that free. Don't, don't charge. But you charge him. Fourteen. Whosoever shall not receive you, no. Watch it shall not receive you, nor hear your words. They ain't going to receive you, nor hear your words. When you depart out of that house, or see the shake the, shake off the dust of your feet. Barely I say unto you, it shall be more talked about the land of Solomon to go by in the, in the day of Jim, death for that sin. Behold, I see you for a sheep amongst wolves. Who is the wolves? Paul Prophet. Remember what she called it? Oh, yeah. In the book of Luke, in the book of Luke, he said that Luke chapter 10. It broke 10. But into whatever city you enter, if they receive you not, go your way out in the streets of the same and say, even the very dust of your city will clean on us. We do wipe off against you. That what Jesus said. Notwithstanding, you be sure of this one thing. That the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. It's gonna be more tolerable in the day of sorrow for that city. Oh, we gotta let you know. Jesus sent them to the lost sheep of Israel. He sent me to the lost sheep of the church world of Christianity, of Christian. 
You call yourself Christian? He sent me to you. You're lost. You name the name of Christ, but you're lost. He sent me to you. <clears throat> Jesus said, not everyone that shall be Lord, Lord, shall live, live, but he that do it with my father. Jesus said, when I call you me Lord, Lord, do not things I said. He sent me to you. That's why you reject me. That's why you're upset. You didn't know me personally. That's why you upset. You, you that from a Timothy God Christ. In apostolic faith. In Catholic. All, 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 you, know, all you from some, someone told me, told me, let us baptize the Lord. God don't have no nomination. He sent me to, you say you're a Christian. He sent me to you. Uh, God, he sent me to you. You say you're a Christian. <laughs> Get, give me, give me Peter 4, 2 Peter 4. You say you're a Christian. Uh, he he sent me to you. Second Peter four. In verse sixteen. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. Back up. But 15. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, thief, evildoer, busy body, and other being mouth. All that sin. And all the righteous sin. You say you're a Christian. He sent me to you. You lost. He, he sent me to you. He told Apostle Paul, you got you got to bear my name before the Gentile, before kings, before Israel. Let's let get that right quick. <clears throat> Acts chapter 9. My God today. Nine eleven. 9.15, Acts chapter 9.15. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentile. Don't bear his name. Don't bear nomination name. Don't bear bishop name. Bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. That's it. That was his God given assignment. God sent me to you to bear his name. It niggly going on. False prophets flying all around. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Yeah, you quit me and say, and, and, say, and say something in your secret closet and get on the telephone. And, and they put you up to preach. And you mean you're going to have folks shout? And they ain't right? And they got sin? And they teach it false? And they bring a false problem on you? And money game being played? All right, they going on. You ain't saying, wait. You ain't saying nothing about it? You ain't telling people to repent of their evil deeds? You ain't showing the people their evil deeds? Oh, it's that. But he sent me to you. Jesus sent me to you, God know. He sent me to that's why you're upset. The reason you're upset is because you don't know it, but you're rejecting Jesus. Jesus said, if, if, if they if they would have heard my words, they'll hear yours also. 
If they hate me, they'll hate you too. That's why you upset at me. That's why. You rejected Jesus. You never heard the truth. You go and turn your being taught how to sin. We ain't none of us without sin. And we ain't none of us without sin. Didn't no Bible say that? You ain't none of the example. Jesus is the example. In the book of Peter, it say he left us an example. We better go get it. Go back to Peter. Actually, I think that's gone. Oh. Here it is, Peter, first Peter three. For even here to what ye call because called Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we shall follow his steps. Who did no sin? Neither would God follow him out. Follow his steps. Did Jesus say, Follow me? Did Jesus say, My sheep know my voice is straight, they won't follow? And you, you, and you would see it. Get up. Oh, ain't no love without sin. Ain't, ain't nobody. Ain't no love perfect. You tell them to follow you. You ain't telling them to follow Jesus. Why don't you say, well, I'm wrong? You obey God. He sent me to you. Many of you upset because you never heard the truth. Telling lies about tithes and offerings. You are antichrist. Read the same chapter of Hebrew and come up with a lie in your mouth. Read and come up with the whole same chapter and lie. I dare you. Oh, he sent me to you. Jesus anointed me and sent me to you. And there are those that know the truth, but their mouth is shut. They will not dare speak the truth publicly. And, and they give you a, your leader give you a chance to preach in your church. And you're not preaching against the wrong. You're telling him or her or them. God requires you to repent. Don't do this. Put away your sin. Depart from iniquity. <clears throat> Get the false prophet out of your church. Stop printing false doctrine. Saying Jesus is not the Son of God. Saying God himself came down here. You refuse to say Jesus came down. You say God came down. Oh, he sent me to you. Yes, he did. He sent me to you. You had called yourself Christian. He sent me to the lost Christian. That's why you're upset. You never heard the truth. There are those that know the truth. I could call them names, but they mouth shut. Yeah, yeah, you'll get on telephone and, oh, you know, that wasn't right. And you'll say, well, don't keep your mouth off the preacher. This. You're a preacher, you pull the preacher. So the people will repent and be saved. So pastors can repent and be saved. I preached at my the assembly I attend on a regular basis. Preached and called out the thing that they were doing that was not right. It gave scripture. And they were guilty. But my job is to warn you. My job is to <laughs> preach Christ to you. you got fault problem right there as well. Say it ain't nobody without sin. You ain't the example. Christ the example. And you're so proud, you won't say you're wrong. 
When I mess up sometimes, that's not the scripture. That's not Christ. Nobody won't follow you. They won't follow Christ. <clears throat> but he sent me to you. That's why you're upset with me. That's why you're upset. You're upset with Christ. You're upset with Christ. You never heard the truth. You hear an opinion about spoke with the with the fella. Say he wanted me to come on and teach a lesson, but he wanted to put some stipulation. Say he wants to encourage the people. I can't encourage you and you and you and you wrong. I can't encourage you and you wrong. Jesus said, I got something against you. Now I gotta say the same thing. Jesus got something against you. Preaching opinions. And they said, well, we made the class interesting. We said, well, why do you think in the Bible that they did this? And why do you think they did this? Why do you think they made that decision? That's irrelevant. You obey God. That's what you do. You obey God. But he sent me to you. You watch me, he sent me to you. That's why I'm back with Carla Church of God in Christ. Deleted me from his Facebook post when I brought the truth about tithing. And he said, y'all try, try to teach folks against, against giving. Ain't nobody trying to teach nobody against giving. We teach you against lying. I say it's the scripture right. Hebrews said. He said, I ain't saying the Bible wrong. Y'all didn't try to. No, he ain't. And so he deleted. But another old boy. He said, do you ever preach love? Yeah. Do you know what love is? Love tells you to repair of your sin. Huh? Love corrects you. Love chasing you. Love, and you in sin, and you preach the ball and talk about love. If I pray love, I'm gonna tell you, Jesus wants you to repent. He don't want you to go to hell. Now stop what you're doing. Go to the fifth chapter of First John. Love is that you keep the commandments. And he deleted me. He said, "Now, now, now, now I, 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 I ain't no fault. I, I want you to know I ain't no fault prophet." And he deleted me. Church God Christ deleted me off their page because I spoke out against the fault prophet. Oh, he sent me to you, and I'm not Muslim, and I'm gonna tell it. All right, that's enough of that. That bring you upset, but he sent me to you to save you. You need to be saved. I mean, you don't know the word of God. I don't come preaching me. I give you the word of God. He sent me to you. And thank God and by God grace and help I'm going to continue. To do his will. Oh, he sent me to you. For playing mother games in church and everything, ain't nobody saying nothing. But I spoke up because I'm anointed by God. He sent me to you. That you may be saying, oh, he sent me to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. But, yeah, a lot, man. What do you got to get to God in Christ? Wait, what do God have to get to God in Christ? You better not lie. You better not lie. If God pleased with all going on to God in Christ, you better not tell one lie. If Baptist, Methodist, and Apostolic faith, you, you better not lie. And you a preacher. If folk going to hell, 
and folks, you shout to folks and that got them thinking they all right. You ain't all right. You ain't all right, you see? Had registration for you. Got false prophet coming. Said, so is he for your miracle. Say, God still require time and law. Although Jesus came. You lie. You a liar. Said, Jesus is not the son of God. You a liar. Don't pre repair that preacher said, cry your person saved. Well, Luke 12, 1, 1, 7 said, and that repentance, that remission of sin shall be preaching his name among all that begin the truth. You would say, well, don't worry about what you ain't going to be judged by your work. Yes, you ain't going to be judged by your work. Behold, I come quickly by reward with me to give every man as his work shall be. Oh, they say all that kind of God will see my sin and see the blood. He sent me to you. Excuse me. Oh, he sent me to you. He anointed me and sent me to you. You ain't mad at me, you mad at Jesus. <laughs> and I said, some know the truth. Some know the truth about tithing, but they're scared to speak because they don't want to upset Bishop. They're scared to speak against the false prophet that Bishop bring in because they don't want to upset Bishop. The false document pre saying ain't nobody public. We all got sin. Ain't none of us sin. Some know the truth, but they're scared to speak. You got to speak it so people can hear it and be saved. He sent me to you. Thank you for hearing. 